Thank you, Nathan. Um, this is February 22nd, 2024, and it's a hearing of the Northampton Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, we are having this hearing via remote teleconference. The meeting today was um, uh, uh, the hearings that are on for today were publicized, and I'll get to those when we get to each hearing. But before we get started, we have a public hearing comment period. And I'm not seeing anybody who might have a comment from the public, but are you, Nathan? I just wanted to double check. You're correct. There is no okay. one else present. Okay. That being the case, then we can move right into our 530 hearing. Um, is there anything before we get started, Nathan, that you wanted to say? Uh, yes. So um, there is a, a written... Related to the next hearing item, um, there is a, a written uh, rescission, rescinding of the uh, uh, lifting of the teardown order by the building commissioner. So he has uh, filed in the public folder system, and I can share that with you if the board desires once the hearing starts. And okay. uh, yeah, so. so um, okay, yeah. Well, let's get this the hearing open and then we can make mm -hmm. that decision because I believe you sent that around anyway, right? To us. Uh, the building commissioners. Well, let's open the hearing. Yeah, let's, yeah, All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the um, 530 appeal of the building commissioner's order to remove an unpermitted addition by Richard Watling at 129 Riverbank Road, map ID 25-026. Um, the hearing was, there was publication dates of August 10th and August 17th, 2023. And um, this hearing had been continued a number of times to get us to this point. Um, and I understand that we have made a huge amount of progress in this case. And Nathan, why don't you just, um, without rehashing all of it, because I don't think we need to do that, um, just get us up to date for today's hearing where we are and what we need to know that we might not know. Yes, so the update, uh, like a relevant update came in today from the building commissioner. Um, so the, what led to this uh, appeal of the teardown order uh, by the applicant and the applicant's attorney is uh, the um, the teardown order issued by the building commissioner for the unpermitted structure on uh, May 26, 2022. Today, he has notified uh, me that he has he's lifting that teardown order. And also there is a, a written um, form will be filed by the building departments uh, by, on their public folder. And um, I can share it on the screen uh, if the board wishes. Sure, that would be fine to take a look at that. Okay, yeah, give me one minute, uh, one second. Okay, uh, share screen. Okay, do you see the? Yes. You see the, yes. It's, it's basically this, the original, um, uh, tear down order from May 26, 2022. And then he has uh, updated the text, you know, with his signature saying rescinding the order. Okay. And you can see the part that's crossed out. Okay. Um, and this is because the transfer of the strip in question has been effectuated and uh, registered with the registry. And I actually even saw it in today's paper. So, um, as and, I, and, and as I understand from the email that you sent out earlier today, Nathan, that um, the appellant is probably going to um, request a withdrawal. So if attorney McLaughlin wanted to proceed with that request, we'd be happy to hear it. Um, very, very happy to hear it. Yes, yeah, so I, I was thinking that, um, it's more appropriate simply to find that this the appeal is moot now. Um, I, I had given all the information to uh, Mr. Flagg, and he says I'm rescinding, so there is there's no order pending. So I I think it's just moot. I I mean I guess I can <clears throat> withdraw an appeal that to an order that no longer exists if you want, but I think technically it's just moot. There's no more appeal. But I, I, I if you, want, if you want me to say I'm withdrawing 
the appeal to the order that's already withdrawn, I could do that. But Yeah, no, know. I think it's okay. the withdrawal of the appeal is the appropriate procedural okay. way um, to right. go. And sure. yeah, so why don't we do that? Um, there, the technicality for me is just to be certain that there's nothing else that goes hand in hand with that that may not be... Um, in our jurisdiction or something that the building commissioner has ruled on. So just to be precise, if you could just do it in the frame, frame it in the, in the uh, withdrawal of the appeal. I yeah, think that Yes. Would... Yes. Um, in light of the fact that um, the building commissioner has rescinded the order, which was the subject of my appeal, I hereby withdraw that appeal. Um, and we'll be dealing with the building commissioner and on, on any uh, building code issues going forward. Great. Okay, so is that something we need to vote on, Nathan? It is, right? Yes, but I, um, I think it's a, it's, it's a technicality at this point. But your withdrawal, would you state that your withdrawal with prejudice or without prejudice, Attorney McLaughlin? Um, I guess it's without prejudice to the extent that you know they try to re enliven the the order, but it seems pretty certain to me um, to the extent that it's. That the underlying order is withdrawn, my appeal is withdrawn. Um, how's that? I mean, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's as yeah. equivocal as you can get. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> well done. Um, okay. Yet, yeah, do you have a recommendation as to which way this needs to go, Nathan? Uh, yes, I mean, so to emphasize, this is specifically withdrawing the appeal of the teardown order and uh, the recommendation is to approve it. And just to clarify, it's not any kind of approval with any other issues surrounding the property. Um, just for the record, there is a stop work order on the building because it has no building permit currently, and it's a whole separate matter. So we are not voting on that. All we are doing is uh, approving the withdrawal request to appeal the building commissioner's demolition order. Okay. And um, do you have any guidance on whether or not it matters, uh, whether it's done with or without prejudice? I, I think the fact it's uh, well, um, it's it's uh, it's already a moot order. So the appeal, the appeal which the applicant is appealing. I, I mean, sorry, my apologies. The uh, demolition order that the applicant is appealing is um, moot. So I think uh, approving it without prejudice uh, would be fine from my understanding because again, there is no order. Um, that's standing anymore. Um, so that's my recommendation. And uh, maybe the if you have some, do you have some other thoughts on that, Elizabeth? The way I, I, I don't really think it much matters because if for some reason there issues a new order, it will be a new order. It won't be an old order. So yes, I, I yes. think I could. I think it could be done either way. And I'm happy to defer to Attorney McLaughlin, unless um, uh, uh, Maureen, do you have any reason to object to being without prejudice? I am assuming that's what they prefer. I do not. Okay. No, no. Yeah. So I I think that's fine. I mean, I I think it's unnecessary, but it's fine. All right. So um, do you want to make a motion, Maureen? I do. I don't have any. Um, I mean, do we need to? It's uh, just approving the... it for deliber deliberation. No, right. I can just move. I'd like to move to um, accept the applicant's uh, request to withdraw the application for the. It's the appeal. Uh, the appeal for the demolition order, which. That's what 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 it was about, right? It was yes. an right. appeal for the demolition. Order. So I think it's so. The, I would like to approve the applicant's request for withdrawal, and uh, with with no conditions. And I well, like, am I missing anything? I mean, it's sim is as simple as that, correct? Right. I think we should reference in if we can the building commissioner's order. Um, so if it's okay, so yeah, based yeah. on the commissioner's order, the rescinding that demolition order. Um, uh, no, I think, uh, sorry, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's 
um, approving the request to withdraw the appeal of the co building commissioner's tear down order. Okay. Okay. So and I don't that's... think we need to even reference the rescission. I think we can just okay. grant that. So uh, the um, approval to withdraw the appeal for the building commissioner's tear down order. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's and it. Just as, a, <laughs> yes. just as technicality, um, would you, would the board uh, clarify that we have no people present for making public comments? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought, oh, you mean on this hearing? Yes. Yeah, on this particular okay. hearing. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, yes. I will clarify that. There's nobody here. Um, there is one person in the waiting room apart from um, the other commissioner. And I don't know who that is. Do you want to check? Yes, it's a uh, it's uh, a member of the ZBA who's recusing herself for the her or himself for this particular um hearing. But I think there's a second person in the waiting. Or, oh, I'm no, sorry. It just, no, it's just no, one. It's just it. that it. person. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So um, no, there's nobody in um in this meeting who is looking to make any comment. Um, I don't even feel the need to close the public hearing unless we you think we need to do that technically nathan before we vote on this do we uh i think I, I, it's just very formal at this point but just let's you know, i say just let's close it and then you can vote on it okay so i'll second uh, maureen's motion and maureen before we vote on that do you want to close the public hearing I do a motion for that yes i'll move to close the public hearing all right okay, second bye. Okay. And do we need a roll call? Yeah, that? Just, let's <laughs> just do that. Let's, yeah, by roll call. Um, uh, Silver? Yes. And uh, Scallon? Yes. Okay. I, I suppose before we did that, we should have asked if anybody had any other comment, but it's too late. Um, okay. So we have Maureen's motion, which is to approve the withdrawal of the appeal of the building commissioner's order for teardown for the... Um, for the property at in question at 129 Riverwood Bank. And are, do we need to discuss it or are we ready to vote? I am ready to vote. Okay, let's take a vote. Okay, uh, um, Silver? Oh, yes. And uh, Scallon? Approved. Okay, I think we're done here. Thank you. For now, you. anyway. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. Good great. luck and Thanks. well done, counselor. Yeah. Thank you. I'm much. impressed. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you, Mr. Chuck. Thank you. And bye bye. Bye. All right. So um, I, it's like one minute before 545. Do you want to let in our other person for the next meeting? Yes. Give and me a moment. We can get started. Yeah. Mitt. It doesn't look like we have anybody from the property here. No, yeah, it's completely empty. It's just the members and the okay. staff. Okay. okay. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Hi, Sherry. Um, oh, uh, oh, actually, my bad. It's my bad, Sherry. Um, I have to make a co-host. <laughs> keep forgetting. It's all the Zoom bombing. Sherry, you should be able to uh, unmute freely now. Okay, I'm unmuted now. Yeah, oh, good. We don't need to okay, picture, that's fine. Okay, um, so it's now five forty-five, and we've just welcomed the third member of the zoning board, Sherry Taylor, and the hearing that's scheduled at five forty-five is a special permit to convert the attached left-sided garage of a two-family home with a non-conforming left-side setback of six feet into additional living space and to add a deck with a left side setback of nine feet behind the garage. Um, and this has been filed by Felix Harvey at 24 Corticelli Street map, map ID 22B-037. This hearing was continued from January 11th, 2024, and it was published on, uh, the hearing uh, notice was published on December 28th, uh, 2023 and January 4th, 2024. Um, we understand that there's been a request on this case, on this hearing, Nathan, if you wanted to update us on that and then we can proceed. 
Yes, that's correct. I will just uh, share a brief screenshot, you know, um, again, it, it was a written request a while back. So do you see the, the email? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sent on January 3rd, basically asking for withdrawal. Okay. And without prejudice. Yeah, without prejudice. Right. All right. So um, the appellant here is going to withdraw this and proceed in some other manner, maybe or maybe not. But we are in a position to just dismiss this now without prejudice. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let, let's entertain a motion and then we can discuss if we um, have anything to discuss. If somebody would give me a motion. Well, I'd be happy to move to approve the applicant's request to withdraw without prejudice. Is that what we're moving for at this point? Yeah. So yes, I will move to um, approve the applicant's request to withdraw without prejudice on this item, this appeal item. Okay. And I'll second it. Oh, wait, do we need to discuss first? Um, we can. This is when we would do it. Okay. So I don't see anybody else that's present for this hearing besides us, right, Nathan? Nope, nobody okay. um, else is present. So we do we need to close the public hearing to? Uh, you know, just you can just here. yeah, you can just note that and close it right away, and okay. then deliberate if you want to, or or just yeah, both. Uh, all right. So why don't um why don't we get a motion to close the public hearing? Sure, I'll move to close the public hearing. And I'll second that. Okay. Yeah. You by roll call. roll call. Um Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Okay. So um is there any discussion on this or can we proceed on the motion? Not Great. hearing any. Um, why don't we take a vote on the motion? Great. Uh um uh, silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. Okay. That seems to do it. Um, I know that we have minutes from, uh, let's see, January 11th, right? That's correct. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. And I, I've reviewed them. I didn't have any thoughts or changes. Does anybody, should we first make a motion I to accept have, the I minutes? I do have one point, I would, uh, a request I have for a deletion. Mm -hmm. On page two of three, I don't know if this is appropriate because I was uh, not participating at that point as a zoning board member, but I was a participant. But the very last part of the sentence, uh, the paragraph that begins with Maureen Scanlon at 197 Nonatuck, spoken yes. support, the end of that paragraph doesn't seem true to what I said or intended. Uh, the uh, Scanlon spoke of the applicant's tree planting projects on the property. I would like to strike the last few words and around the city because I don't, I don't, that doesn't seem to reflect what I might have said or my intentions. The applicant did not, has not tr planted trees around the city. So I can, no. Okay. Friendly yeah. amendment to the. Mm -hmm. Minutes. Okay. Doing it. Should I just uh, end it at Scanlon spoke of the applicant's tree planting projects and end it there? Are you yeah. planting projects? Sure. I was going to say on the property and end it oh, there. Okay. Okay. But on the property. Either way. Yeah. Okay. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. I made that change. I didn't Thanks. see anything else. So is there a motion to accept? A motion to accept. I'll second that. Okay. okay. Any, uh, other, any other oh. discussion on this? Okay. okay. Roll call. Okay. By roll call. Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. And Taylor? Yes. Hey. Well, I think that's a record. <laughs> is there a, before we lose the record, is there a motion to adjourn? <laughs> is there anything else before we adjourn, Nathan? Uh, so no, nothing is uh, has been submitted. There's no, no GDB application, so we don't know when the next one will be. Okay. Yeah. So there's nothing for next month as it yeah. stands. Is that so correct? yes, you unless some emergency arises, uh, which is not going to happen, like most likely, you at least for a month you're um you're free. Great. Perfect. All right. So All right. motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Okay. And uh, oh, uh, we did this. Did we do this already? 
Oh, no. check the so. I don't think so. Not oh, okay. Yet. All right. I need a second okay. then. <laughs> uh, second. Okay. Um, by roll call, uh, Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. It's all those quick motions. You know. All right. We're all set. Thank you.